This video will demonstrate how to create your TAL database. So the first thing you'll want to do is open up your Access Program, then select Blank Desktop Database, and then you will be prompted to give your database a name. Use your last name, underscore, TAL. Then if you want to change the location, you would click here. Otherwise, it will be saved in the location that's listed right below it. Then select Create. Now you will be looking at a blank table named Table 1 with one field named ID. And we want to modify this information, so you want to select where it says View and change it to Design View. Then it will prompt you to give the table a name. So our first table is going to be rep. Now we are not going to use ID as the primary key. So you can see this is already designated as a primary key field, and this is a default. We want the rep num field to be the primary key field for the rep table. And then we want to select the data type. So select short text. And we want to change the field size down in the Properties section to 2. Now, if you look at the instructions, this is on page 9. You can see the name of the table. And the primary key field here is RepNum. And we want the field size to be 2. So this is where you will get the information for the structure of your tables. So page 9 of your Create Database instructions. So go back into the database and you would also create the remaining eight fields and you would see them here. And if you switch views at this point back into, we'll say yes, back into the data sheet view, after you have all of your fields listed, they would be listed here across the top, each column. And you would then type your data values in. So I'm going to show you also one more piece of information, and that is how to create a multi-part primary key field. So we're going to create a new table. So select Create Table. Then we want to switch views again. Select Design View. And this table will be our order line table. So this is what we saw before, where ID is the default field name selected as the primary key. So if you look at the instructions and go to page 10, you will see that for the order line table, the primary key fields will be order num and item num. So we're going to change the ID to order num. And then if you look back at the instructions again, you will see that order num should be short text with a field size of 5. So short text. And change the, in the field properties area, the field size to 5. Then we also want item num to be part of the primary key, and that will be short text with a field size of 4. OK, so now we want to highlight both of these rows in order to select both of these to be the primary key field. So if you select right here to the left in the gray area, you can highlight the first one, then hold your CTRL, your control key, and highlight the second one, and then select primary key. And notice that both of these now have the key listed next to them, the key icon. This means that both of these will be the primary key field. So if you want to go back in and switch views to data sheet view, we're going to say yes to save it. Then you can see the two fields that we have listed so far where you would type your data values. So if you go back and look at the instructions, 
the order line table has a total of four fields. So you would create each of these four fields. And you would also finish creating the rep table, the orders table, the customer table, the order line table, and the item tables. And when you're finished with creating the structure for each of these tables, then you want to include your data in each table. The information for the data is in your textbook on page 7. So make sure that you, before you submit your work, your access database for this assignment, make sure that you have the data values typed in here. Then we can save this and exit. This concludes the presentation on how to create your TAL Access Database.